Are you curious about one of the most influential Asian American photographers in history? Then come join us as we explore the fascinating life and achievements of Corky Lee. Today, we are going to talk about Corky Lee, a pioneer of Asian American photography. Corky Lee was born on September 5, 1947 in Queens, New York, New York. He grew up in Queens where his father worked as a welder turned laundryman and his mother was a seamstress. Corky's interest in photojournalism began in 1970 when he saw a well-known photograph commemorating the completion of the Transcontinental Railroad, which showed railroad workers posing on and around two trains, one from the Central Pacific and one from the Union Pacific Railroads. Corky realized there were no Chinese workers documented in the picture, despite the fact that thousands of them had worked and sacrificed their lives in its construction. From that moment on, he was devoted to making the accomplishments of Asian Pacific Americans more visible. Corky's main goal was to chronicle and explore the diversity and nuances of Asian American culture overlooked by mainstream media and to make sure Asian American history was included as a part of American history. Every time he took his camera out of his bag, it was like drawing a sword to combat indifference, injustice, and discrimination, trying to get rid of stereotypes. Corky documented Asian Americans' daily life, capturing their monumental historical events, including the struggle for civil rights. In 1975, his photo of a Chinese American being brutalized by the police appeared on the cover of the New York Post. That day, 20,000 people marched from Chinatown to City Hall to protest police brutality. Corky also chronicled the protests by the Asian American community in the aftermath of the Vincent Chin murder trial in 1983. Corky's work was widely recognized and had a profound influence, shaping American perceptions of Asian American society. He was honored twice by New York City mayors, and his photographs were featured in various exhibitions throughout U.S. cities and college campuses. In July 2008, Corky went to Promontory Point, Utah, where the original railroad photograph that had inspired him to become a photographer had been taken. In a bid for what he called photographic justice, he reshot the picture with 400 Chinese Americans from all across the country, correcting their absence from 133 years before. Corky also worked with Two Bridges Neighborhood Council in Chinatown as a community organizer. However, the life of Corky Lee came to an end on January 27, 2021, in Long Island Jewish Forest Hills, New York, New York. Corky Lee was a pioneer of Asian American photography. He devoted his life to capturing the richness and diversity of Asian American culture. We hope you enjoyed discovering more about his life and contributions to Asian American culture. But before you go, we have another exciting video to check out. Stick around to learn fun facts about George Takei on Fresberg Cartoon. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video.